It's awesome to welcome young draft prospect from SA, the ball-winning tall midfielder with the mighty Roosters, the incredibly cool guy, Billy Dowling. Nice to meet you, Billy. Cheers, LJ. Thanks for having me on, mate. Looking forward to it. Oh, it's good. great to have you on, mate. You grew up in Murray Bridge, a town down south. Did you do any other sports apart from footy growing up? Um, yeah, so I was, I was right into my cricket and tennis early days, and I sort of did the pretty common combo of just playing – you know, footy in the winter and then cricket in the summer and then with a bit of tennis in there as well. So always love those sports. But then later on, I got a bit bored of fielding in cricket. So I switched over to footy, which is, yeah, I think probably been the right call. Do you reckon you're a better bowler or batter in cricket? Oh, I, cu- I could not bowl to myself. I was definitely a batter. I just, I could not throw them down, that's for sure. Batting is fun. You have to go out in the backyard, have a bit of a bat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, in the summer, I like to get down um, to my beach house and play a bit of beach cricket, which is always nice. Um, yeah, it gets pretty heated out there with my brothers and friends and stuff like that, but no, it's great. It's great fun. Love doing it. Yeah, definitely. Now, you moved from Murray Bridge to St. Peter's. That is quite the move. Did you move for your footy or school? Uh, it was actually probably more school related. So, yeah. that obviously worked down at Murray Bridge and he sort of commuted between um, the hills and my bridge back then. And then he sort of made the call along with um, with my mum to sort of move down here. And um, yeah, they sort of commute to work each day from here. So it's a bit of a sacrifice for them, but we've been really grateful as a family for the opportunity they've given us. I mean, Saints are bloody amazing school to get to. So yeah, we've been really grateful and it's been awesome for my footy and for my schooling, obviously. Yeah, good move, I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. Now- you go to St. Peter's. Did you win the lottery? That school is amazing. How cool is how cool is it going to such a prestigious school? Oh, no. Sorry. No, I'm very grateful for it. I mean, it's a great school, and I guess it's sort of your due diligence. So when you get to go to a school like that, you sort of work your hardest and yeah. try to get as far as you can because they give you all the opportunities. So you just got to make sure you render them and try and make the most out of them. So I'm fully grateful for everything I've been given in terms of going to such a prestigious school. So hopefully can pay it back with my education and working hard moving forward. Yeah. So how are the old academics going? Do you have any career paths that you're looking at doing post-school? Maybe studying while in the AFL, buddy? Oh, we'll see what happens. To be honest, it's pretty on the side of the moment. It's obviously very broad um, in the study areas, what you can do nowadays. But I'm probably looking down the law, commerce, economics sort of side of things. And I'll probably get more specific with what I want to do in the next coming weeks because we obviously have to choose our degrees in the next few weeks as we get to the conclusion of our schooling. But um, it's pretty exciting for uni life and see what that lies ahead of me. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, sounds so cool. Now, you are playing for the North Adelaide Roosters. When did you start playing for the Roosters? Uh, So I started out in the under 13 development squad and basically worked my way right through from there. But... um. Yeah, I've loved it basically. Right, I was pretty shaky early days. I imagine I took a while to probably find my feet at rooster level. But um, now nah, the boys obviously as you get older, you play so much footy with each other, and you get the common blokes who are there from 13s, 14s, 15s moving forward, and you just build a good connection. By the time you hit 18s, it's just natural playing with each other, and you just go out there and enjoy your footy like always. Yeah, it's great at the roosters, isn't it? Yeah, it's a great club. It's a ripper club, isn't it? LJ, you know that best as well. You're a roosters man. Yeah, I am. I'm proud of it too. Love it. Yeah, yeah, it's a great club. Best club going around. <laughs> Your North under-18 side this year has been almost unbeatable with only one loss. Now, I could be wrong, but I don't think that you played in that loss. You can't lose with Mr. 30 possession midfield in the team. Seriously, Billy, what a great year you've had. The team looks awesome. Who in North side do I need to keep my eye on? Oh, it, oh it's a very strong side. There's a lot of... Good performers. I'm definitely going to miss a couple, but um, obviously you got Isaac Keeler, Max Lacker, Luke Harvey, um, Half Montgomery, Hugh and Wisman, uh, Kelsey, Ripshaw. Like we've been pretty fortunate, Jack Hodges. We've had so many boys that have played well at um, under 18s level, and that's probably the reason I think we're 10 and 1 at the moment. So um, it's such a good bunch of individuals, but as a team, we're even better. So, I mean, coming together, we've really enjoyed playing our footy together. We've just relished the opportunity to play some great under 18s football with each other. Yeah, I remember to keep my eye on them. <sighs> yeah, it, it's going to be okay. pretty fun. Yeah, there's going to fires out of there, hopefully. Yeah. Okay, it was such a great year so far and absolutely killing the under-18s. 
Has there been any talk at all of going up and competing against the bigger bodies in the seniors? Or are we looking after the state break? Um, oh, it's probably a bit difficult in this sort of break. Um, you've probably got to be pretty mindful of your body. You play so much footy in the next few weeks. So um, I'd imagine I'd stay at under 18 level. I know we got um, Glenelg this week who are a great side and they're right up there with us on the ladder. So I'll be looking forward to playing a game like that. But I imagine I'll be playing under 18s levels because that's sort of, you know, where I'd imagine myself playing comes final times and I'll be back at school um, you know, sort of start the next term three or four weeks away. So yeah. I'll probably stay at, at under 18 level, which, yeah, can't complain well with that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, now, <laughs> now, that was my little segue into the state chance. That is happening right now. Heartbreaking loss on the weekend against the Vic Country Boys, down by under a kick. Although I'm sure you are very disappointed, how did you go, buddy? Oh, Oh, it wasn't too bad. I mean, it was obviously a very flat loss. We had our chances. Like I said before, I think we had seven points in the last quarter, which is, um, yeah, pretty disappointing because we only ended up losing by two points. So if we nailed one of those, it would have been close. But I can't complain. We gave it our all. And like I said, it would have been good to get the win over the Vicks. But um, no, they're obviously a good side and it was a great contest on the day. So I was happy to just to, you know, chip in and do my bit for the team. And yeah, didn't get the win, but... Yeah, we'll have Metro in three or four weeks. We should be exciting. Hopefully we can play then. Yeah, get another yeah. win against them. Yeah, such a close game, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was a ripper. The last three or four minutes was just oh, hard in my mouth sort of thing. Yeah. Now, you got to mix it against some of the best in the country, in Jai Claw, Mitch Sither and Ollie Hollands. How good was the experience of going against these guys? What did you learn from that game? Yeah, no, you definitely can see the disparity between like the really elite players at that level compared to, you know, some of the boys who might play a more local level. I mean, they're very skillful players and quick. And I guess you learn a lot at, you know, the, the level you sort of have to be at. And if you can mix it with those blokes, I mean, they're the best in the country, obviously, like you said. So um, I was very grateful to have the opportunity to play like alongside a lot of the best players in the country. So, um, yeah, I really enjoyed it and really grateful for the opportunity. Yeah, you must be pretty proud to play with and against them as well. Yeah, that's it. You get, we have a lot of rippers in the SA side, so it's yeah. just great experience. I'll remember forever, that's for sure. Yeah, it would be. All right, let's tell the viewers what they get if their team gets to draft you. The complete midfielder package, classy ball user, ball magnet, a guy who reads the game incredibly well and runs hard both ways, most importantly, loves going forward and kicking a snag. You're the perfect modern mid, mate. So with all these traits, what is Billy Dowling working on to take his game to the next level? Um, oh, there's probably a few things I've sort of gotten the works trying to improve on. So I think, you know, you never sort of finish with your skills side of things. So that's always something that, guys, of how good you are, you want to become a leader. So little things like that. And also just, um, like you said before, that two-way running, that having that balance of wanting to go forward and kick goals, but also playing defensively. So they're probably the two things that, as junior midfielders, you probably doesn't come as natural to a lot of people. So keep on working on that. And I guess the other things will just come with it. So yeah, we'll see what happens there. Yeah. Do you see yourself running straight into the midfield uh, if you get drafted? Oh, dude, I, was like, I just want to get there in the first place. I mean, it's obviously very competitive, so yeah. we'll see what happens, but long way to go um, heading into that sort of period and thinking, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, definitely. Now you are a big Collingwood fan. I've been lucky enough to be around the club lately. They're an awesome club. What would it mean if you were picked picked up by them? I know any team would be awesome, but it would be pretty cool to be picked up by your pies, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's it. like you said, I mean, any team would be a great opportunity. I wouldn't be fussed going anywhere. But I mean, pies obviously hold a dear spot in my heart. Obviously been supporting them since I was basically born. Um, basically right through the family would be massive pie supporters. So they've given us a bit of heartache throughout the years 2018 grand final was there on that day which is when Don Sheed sunk us but um no I'd be delighted like that's obviously a dream come true and regardless of what happens I'll be grateful that I've supported the great club <laughs> yeah it would be pretty cool though <laughs> that's it that's it <laughs> yeah okay so let's find out some more about you what do you like to do in your spare time um, to be honest, at the moment in year 12, it's uh, you don't get too much spare time. I guess I like chilling out because when I'm not playing footy, most of the time I'm studying or catching up with mates. So 
my spare time. I, I like playing basketball and getting into other sports. And um, recently I've been getting into a bit of F1 at the moment, which has been pretty interesting. So um, just sort of trying to get into new things each day and, yeah, find out, you know, what the world has around me, which has been pretty interesting at the moment. It sort of keeps me on my toes. Yeah, F1, that's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. I've been talking to my mates a bit about it, the drive to the virus series coming out. So I've been into that a fair bit, which has been nice, nice distraction yeah. for everyday activities. Awesome. If you could go see any sporting event in the world, what would you see? Oh, um, obviously, our grand final is pretty sick, but yeah. um, NBA championship game seven would probably be one of the more elite sort of levels, like basketball electricity in, in the arenas and stuff like that seems amazing. So if I could get to one of those, I'd be pretty grateful. An NBA playoff finals game would be elite. So that'd, that'd have to be the guy, I'd imagine. Oh, there'd be nothing better, would there? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Watching LeBron James or Steph Curry absolutely sink in the team would be nice. <laughs> Definitely. If you were on the tee, ready to tee off in golf, and you swung a driver, how would you go? Oh, I've I've tried with my golfing, but it's just not not for me. I tried basically two years, just tried to just keep playing and playing, persisting through my struggles. But oh, look, I've just had to throw on the town, so I'm not good enough. It's a it's a definitely a very tough sport. And I guess if you don't get lessons and it doesn't come natural to you, you're basically stranded in the mud. So. I've had to I've had to hang up the boots in terms of golfing, but I'll probably I'll probably reopen the door in a couple yeah. couple of years, couple of weeks hopefully. But at the moment, I'm pretty settled that it's just not the sport for me. But I'll I'll get there one day with that, that's for sure. Yeah, you'll definitely get a bit of practice when you make the AFL, mate. <laughs> oh, hopefully, we'll see what happens. <laughs> if you had your favorite meal, what would it be? Oh, favorite meal! I think you can't go past chicken parmi. I mean, that's um. One that I have sort of every now and again before games as well, good carb loading. So, um, yeah, I'd have to say chicken parmy. Can't complain with one of those, that's for sure. Yeah, they are so good, aren't they? Yeah, they're a ripper. How long do you think you'd last in a zombie apocalypse? Oh, tough one. Um, I think I'd have a few good hiding spots, but yeah. I'd probably be pretty scared. So um, I wouldn't want to show my face. And if I got caught by a zombie, I'd probably just give up and just let it eat me or whatever they do but no it's um it's a tough question because i would not really know at all hopefully i run a couple i think they don't run too quick so if they don't run i would hopefully just outrun a couple <laughs> yeah okay quick footy questions best footy memory uh probably winning the under 15 championships with north that was pretty that was pretty cool yeah, that would be cool. Do you have a player you watch most? Um, being a Pie supporter, I've always said Scotty Pendlebury. He's been a late his whole career, so he's definitely one, I'd say. Yeah. If you could have a football around for tea, who would it be? Um, Jack Crisp. Jack Crisp. I've actually met him before. He's, he's awesome. Yeah. yeah, he seems like a great lad. I love his work. Great bloke, great player. Yeah. Well, Billy, it has been great meeting you and speaking to you today. You're an absolute legend and a future star, mate. I can't wait to see which lucky club gets you. Come on, Pies. This man is a legend. Thanks heaps, buddy. Look forward to speaking soon. Yeah, Joe, thanks for having me on, mate. Really appreciate it. Great to have you on, buddy. Thanks, mate.